Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Lachlan from Cowboy for Game. That's just me. I'm being held against my will. I don't want to do this. He intentionally waited two and a half hours after Locals <laughs> to do this podcast. We did two Pokemon raids and fucked around for ages and he didn't leave. <laughs> uh, so a gun under the table. There's always a gun under the table. Ooh, this is demonetized already. We said mm. gun in the first minute of the video. Three oh, times, we in to fact. Penis too. Uh, <laughs> yes. Anyway, moving right along. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Lachlan. Hello. With your incredibly long week. Yeah. Um, I, I, I played this week for the first did. time in year. Yep, and you played absolutely the most contemporary uh, deck that you could find. I, I really switched it up. <laughs> <laughs> I played Dynamist. <laughs> Uh, we played tag duels. Jake Indeed. and I were a team. Uh huh. Uh huh. And according to Challenge, the thing we were running it off, we came second. According to all logic, I came second. Or well, team Beyblade. Mm. Team and according Beyblade? to yeah. not Challenge, Ben came second. According to all <laughs> laws of uh, resistance. <laughs> That's fine. It's still the same placing, it's still the same prizing. It's fine. No, it wasn't. The pricing was quite poor. A little bit. But that's okay. This was like, since it's a casual tournament, we'll do casual pricing. But mm. first place gets double. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. So, yeah. Um, how you, or not that this was a real format anyway, but you experienced some decks that you probably haven't versed before? No. I think every, every deck I came up against I had previously versed. What, new trap tricks? Oh, I guess not new trap tricks, but like I've versed every deck there before, like not um every variant of every deck, I guess. But what did we verse? We versed. Did you verse Mathmic before? Yeah. When? Josh had played it before I left. Sorry. No, you're fine. The owner Sorry. of the store is messaging me. As he does. He wants to do a Pokemon raid. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. But yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. I, um... Are you inspired to get back into... <laughs> no. No? Okay. Not really. It's, uh... I don't know, I might play a bit more here and there, but... It's just such a time sink. Mm -hmm. You know? I've got... Grand Champ to hit in Rocket League, so I've got to focus on that. Oh, uh, the important things. I mean, it's as important as anything. Rocket League has prize... Prize cash... Uh, cash prizes. <laughs> prize cash. <laughs> and he gets no closer to that than he does to <laughs> prizing here. <laughs> Uh, ben, how was your week? Uh, my week was fine. I played Pearly again on Tuesday. Um, I'm enjoying that deck more than I thought I would originally. Um, it's I like playing a deck where I can think and there's like back and forth and, and so on. But Is there a lot of back and forth when you put up an 8 material uh, unaffected monster and a Zeus? It's only unaffected until it uses 4 of its material though, Jake. Yes, but if, if your opponent can't get at your monster, you don't have any need to detach that's okay i lose to kaiju like most deck you lose to kaiju exactly exactly um so yeah i've been playing that that went fine x1 monday on tuesday um then today me and hayden teamed up uh we played i played cybers literally built it two hours before the tournament and was just like what if i played a deck where i could play 15 to 18 hand traps and then just hopefully play a bunch of one card engines. Uh, and that went fine. Like, I'd be interested to see how that deck would go in a real tournament. Because it's. Oh no, it's just what Josh plays. Yeah, you are mm. effectively just playing yeah. Josh's deck at I'm, that point. I'm out. That. No, he, <laughs> he was playing all this other random ass shit that then once he got to like his end board, he's like, ah, oh, and then I have a fusion from Grave. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was just like. Just I mean, the Fusion and Grave is just an omni-negate of Spell and Trap, so, like, it... I pretty much played that deck in the way that, like... You know how when I was playing the Synchro deck, where I was like, what if I can just play every Synchro that Jack Atlas made in the anime? I was like, what if I made every Link Playmaker made in the anime? <laughs> <laughs> I played Decode Dogger. <laughs> and Actual I decode. made it. Oh, Jesus. I attacked with it for game. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Something else. It was great. Um... Yeah, so that was that. Uh, Hayden played 
uh, Super Heavy Samurai uh, Earth. Earth bot. Yeah, Desk Bot Earth spam. The, the theory was he goes first out of the two of us, he eats as many hand traps as possible, mm-hmm. and then I clean up what's left. Okay. And okay. It worked. It worked pretty well. Especially when he didn't get hand trapped and then ended on that beast and was just like, oh, now you guys are getting skipped. And then I cleaned up what was set on the board. I was just like, this is good. This is good. Hmm. And that was my week in Yu Gi Oh! Hmm. How was okay. yours, Shane? It was good. Uh, what did I play Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday was the last time that I planned to play the Dogmatica deck for a little while. Um, purely because one particular person at Locals fucking hates it. It's, it's... Kurt! <laughs> I feel like I've played decks longer for some sometimes. Like, I would play them, like, in optimally to extend someone's suffering. Like, when I was doing Infernoble Hand Rip, despite the fact it could do VFD and it was better. Just because Jake was like, fuck because you! about three different people were like, I hate you and I hope you die. <laughs> and like, I was like, I'm playing this deck for as long as Konami lets me. Like, I'm going to rip your cards every single game. <laughs> and here we are. Now they're getting yeah. more support. Yeah. Yeah, I might play... You know what? I might come is back to that. Is the hand rip still a thing? No, nah, smoke grenade's gone. I was going to say. Like, it's the best just, There's another like, hand rip, but it's not as good. It's like, just can we... It's not Gollum's, is it? No. No. I think you can do one Gollum's hand rip. Now like, you just do you the whole fucking it. shit. Well, I think you can mm. still, like, do mm. three Omegas. You can make powerful racist dragon in that combo now. Mm. You can. Oh, I wonder how that... Deck, how would how would Infernoble go with the Revolution Synchron? going into Powerful Dragon for free and then going into Racist Dragon. Racist Dragon's a nine. Ah, oh, it's a nine? Damn. So you said it's Power Tool Racist Dragon? Yeah, it's Power Tool Brave it's Dragon. White Power Tool? No, it's Racist Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> man, does, man, man doesn't watch the podcast. Not at all. No. Not at all. I don't watch any podcasts. I don't watch podcasts about things I'm interested in. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't do anything. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, so yeah, um, put that deck away for a little while. Um, but today I've cracked out the new deck, uh, nearly. Uh, I'm missing several key cards for it to work in its most optimal form. Mm. But being there was tag, it was fine. But today uh, I am playing Ice Jades. Um, since they released the Synchro, I thought it was like a cool concept. Um, like, it's not a super oppressive deck. They just can do some things. Did it's they get con- an Albaz Fusion? No. Okay. Their Albaz Fusion is Mirror Jade, strictly speaking. That's uh, very consistent. So the good one. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, but yeah, their Synchro is quite good, and a lot of their cards just recycle. Um, the one annoying thing is, like, in typical, like, unlike typical field spells fashion, where it's like, oh, activate this and search your card. Uh, because they already have a non once per turn search card, it's uh, upon activation recycle a card from Grave or Banished. Okay, not bad. Sure. Um, and then it can do some other stuff. Um, so yeah, today in the tag uh, we lost every die roll, uh, yes, but we got to go first one. once because the other players wanted to go and second. I wish we hadn't. I considered going second in this tournament as well. Like the one time me and Hayden won the die roll, we were like, we're going first, and I was like, well, do we want to go first? We just told them, oh, you want, you're going first. And they were like, do we have to? And I was like, I mean, you have don't to, but have I kind of want you to. <laughs> <laughs> what was... We won anyway. Yeah. yeah. Um, I set up the Synchro every game, which is good. Like, that's yeah, kind of what you That Synchro, very consistent. Very like, consistent. It seemed no matter what he opened, he got the Synchro out. It just didn't do enough sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it does rely a lot on other stuff happening around it. It doesn't do a lot on its own. But like I said, it's like an inoptimal build at the moment. I've kind of just slapped it together with the cards that I had available. Okay. Um, and people that I asked told me that they had stuff and then they didn't have stuff. And I had in the stuff. You did have the stuff. I didn't have any stuff, no. but he didn't really need my stuff. Yeah, the stuff you had, I already had. Yeah. The stuff you had was, was the Mystic rarity. Mines you never took out of your deck. Oh, yeah. So I showed up today and I was like, oh, guys, is this legal? <laughs> and they pulled out three Mystic Mines. <laughs> they were like, this isn't legal. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. 
It has been a hot minute since you played that deck. Um, but yeah, hopefully once I get the cards that I need for that deck, I shall bring you all a profile and it will be very fun for everyone to watch. Uh, so, moving on to some news. We start with... I can bang the table now. But the mics are up here. Yes. You could do that. You can now bang the table. <laughs> I've wanted to do it for so long. Jesus Christ. Uh, so, we start our news with Master Duel. Uh, so, as of July 13th, they've brought in an update. Um, so, they've re released a uh, secret pack. This is such a shit set. It's like a repackage of the Labyrinth stuff with the new stuff in it. So, the new mummy card, uh, the new trap. What? what? Hold <laughs> up. Mummy. It's just a bunch of repacks. Yeah. Uh, then they released. There was another main pack as well, but it doesn't seem to be noted here. Um, no, that was the main pack. No, this is the secret pack. See? Oh, oh, the main pack was the new Labyrinth cards. I'm sure the new Labyrinth was in here as well. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah. no, it is. It is? Yeah. Then I'm confused. Is that a terraform? Yeah, I need, a... we need oh, those. No, no. So the, the new main pack has the Labyrinth know. cards in it, and then they updated that side pack that you get. If that's what they've actually done, that's actually so redundant. It's what they did. Oh, that's so dumb. Because the new main pack just had... The new Labyrinth stuff, uh, the new Rank 9 deck stuff, you know. That's fucking terrible. Uh, not Virtual World, the bad one. Uh, generators? Yes. Ooh. Oh, yeah, true. Do they, they get new oh, stuff no, in there? They got new stuff in there, yeah. It's just it's a bunch of new cards for old decks. Yeah. And I hate it. So, yeah, the next set will probably have the big swing, which will likely be Kashira or Fire but, Engines. We'll see. Yeah, I was going to say, that's the thing, though. Like, we still haven't gotten Pearly, oh, Pearly's Fire ages Engines. Away, they? They're in the same set. So, in, there, in the order of Yu-Gi-Oh! releases, it went Pearly, Fire Engines, Makanko, Kashira. <laughs> Makanko is such a funny name. <laughs> Makanko. <laughs> <laughs> when, I didn't read it probably when they first came out, and I just assumed it was Makano. And I was like, that's no, weird. They don't look like machines. K. There Special is. K. Uh, they've also released some accessories. So we get the base from the Thunder Link that they released ages ago that was basically just... Some, enough... Summer Summoner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I love that card. So yeah, It's they're... really horrible for me to say because I have a lisp. <laughs> That's why you never played Thunder Dragons. <laughs> yeah, Thunder Dragons. I thumb, thumb, I 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 we can't wait for getting you a podcast. Yeah. We should still apologize for anyone with a drastic list that I cannot play. He has Summoner. a drastic list. I don't have a drastic <laughs> All right, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, we also get uh, one of the new trap tricks as a sleeve and the new Dark World sleeves. That's also in the new selection pack. And the new Dark World. They banned the fucking hand rip card. Ooh, what's that? Uh, that is the evil eye of Celine as like a uh, border? Uh, border for your That's profile sick. picture. It's I want quite, that. That's quite That's nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, ah, the Last summons. time I played Master Duel, you, all you had was the hexagon. <laughs> That's the border. Oh, yeah, it's evolved a lot since then. Yeah, there's a lot more now. Um, so, yeah, in the new selection pack, there's uh, generators, there's trap tricks, and Dark World. Those are the main three that are getting support. I yeah. think Magic Key gets a couple other things. No one cares about Magic Key anyway. Is Dracula um, Slayer in Master Duel yet? Not yet. No, no, that's also still waiting. So that's also gonna come. Is is the penguin support in Master Duel yet? Yeah. <laughs> Finally, now that Hulk is gone. Slayer is really not in Master Duel yet. So they don't have the, the new Dynamis card. No. Delete Master Duel from your phone. We're still so far off possibly getting it's full power. It's taking Kashira. a while. Yeah. Like, um, it'll be fully banned before then. So uh, the update was so good that they decided to do another one the following day. Um, mainly for aesthetic assets. Uh, so, you know how, like, Dark Magician, Dark Magician, Girl Blue Eyes have, like, their final attack sort of thing? Like, if they're the last ones to do damage, yep. there's a whole animation. Uh, Red Eyes now gets one as well. That's good. It should have been in the first thing. Oh, yeah. It's weird that they didn't do them all the time. Um, I like how they gave us the shit Red Eyes art. Just want to diverge to this. Yeah. They gave us the shit Red Eyes art for yeah. YCS. Yeah. Oh, well, that was the one I was not at, so it doesn't matter. That was Melbourne, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was Melbourne. No, I'm the one who booked the whole thing and then didn't go. Oh, that's right. 
Um, so then it also added a way to sort through your solo mode so you can work out um, like which one's the newest, which one's the oldest, which oh, ones you haven't done and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's decent. Um, and then they also did uh, dual live. They did a big upgrade with dual live. Effectively, you just used to press a button and get taken to any, any random duel. Now you can choose uh, not only if you want to watch uh, ranked matches or casual, you can actually pick the decks that are playing. So you get like, oh. I think it's like a carousel of five or six and it shows you their three main cards. You know how when you're deck okay. building, you can pick your yeah, three cards to show people or like cool. come up as like the deck build thing. It's an option you have anyway. <laughs> uh, I can't answer this. Cause Just reject it. No, put them on the pod. No, like put it on fuck, speaker. It'll fuck the microphone. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing will stop recording. Yeah. Um, but well, yeah, you can actually cool. just like look at what's playing now. So it just gives you a bit more variety in like if you want to watch a match for whatever reason. Like it's a big YouTuber thing to do. They quite often just go and be like, hey, let's just watch some casual matches, see what the um, people are doing with Red Eyes or the Egyptian Gods and do stuff like that. Do you remember the, uh, you'd go into like the lower rated duels? Where you go onto like dueling book and, and you like, just oh, look for yeah. whatever the lowest rated one was and you join and be like, <laughs> generator <laughs> fluffles. <laughs> and like, and then it would be against like just pure Yosenju with like the the pendulums, and they would not know how to play the game. They'd be like, ah, I normal summon Exodia. <laughs> um, I the, love that. One of the bigger and more up, uh, interesting updates they brought in is uh, with Imperm. Yeah, this is uh, not only was there the visual thing of like, ah, oh, it's hit that column when it first activates, it now has a lingering visual asset to the column that it's affecting so stupid it's really random it's like just our hand holding yeah, yeah i i get the feeling that the people who are creating this game really care about like casuals casuals enjoying their time in it and this will help you know they, i mean this is they... i wonder if they keep that in tournament level though like whether it gets to it shouldn't be the there worlds ranked the and they least. take it out because I feel like that is something they might take issue with. Like you can't help it in Master Duel anyway. Like the way that the game works, you're going to be given clues as to what your opponent's yeah, going to be absolutely. doing anyway. Like you're going to know if they're going to have some sort of hand trap and stuff like yeah. that because of the way that it delays to give them a response. So, the so is, I guess I that sort of plays into that aspect more. But I don't think it was something that was needed. It was probably, like, honestly, it was probably just a bunch of surveys come out and a lot of casuals just got onto the survey and, like, I keep activating things in the impone column. <laughs> if that's what the majority of the surveys said, yeah, that's then I... the competitive part of the player base has not done their job in, in including those surveys. This is a good update for what they thought they were doing, you know? Yeah. I will say I would probably support it being in, like, casual and then like the bottom two ranks in in ranked and then once you pass that it's like okay we're in the big boy leagues now like actually do something like remember yeah. like once you get above gold probably mm. i agree with that yeah, yeah. That, that's a pretty solid idea like um, so make sure you fill out your next survey and make that note yeah actually fill out your surveys because i guess that's the like you it's Guys, a lot of games I'm don't I'm just going to tell Jerome. When we're at Walls, I'm just going to be like, Hey, Jerome, this was a bad idea. Do you reckon he has anything to do with Master Duel, though? None. But it's still <laughs> better than me just shouting into the ether. Again, like we were literally just saying, fill out the survey. Yeah, just fill and out the That is this. the ether. I Say you want more dynamism. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to do Master Duel, it's going to be at least a year and a half away. Yeah. Well, no. I want it exclusive to Master Duel. Like exclusive. That, what is it, Kiteroid? That only ever came to Duel Links? Yeah, we still haven't got that. Yeah. I don't think that card even exists in the OCG. No, it's just... And it's just Battle Fader. Yeah, it's just Battle Fader, a bit better. I'm going to look that up. Has it come out? I wonder if that just messed with the microphone. I don't think so. <laughs> what messed with the microphone? Yeah. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, so, moving on to some more news. Uh, we have the first archetype that's been announced in the... I can't remember what the set's name is, but one of the new side sets. Um, does it say what it's actually called? It does not, because it's all in Japanese. Fantastic. Uh, anyway, so the first archetype that we know of is called the Mementos. Um, we had some, or I had some concepts as to what they'd be. I was very much wrong. Um, so all bar one of them so are like uh, basically Halloween type versions of vanilla monsters that used to exist. So you've got like Trihorn Dragon, you've got uh, Tatsuno Shigo, I think that's how it's pronounced. Close enough. What did you call me? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> like a few of them are vanilla cards that we never got here in the TCG. Um, but they've all been given sort of a Halloween makeover and they all have effects. They don't seem amazing at the moment. The best they can do from what I've been able to work out so far is like the big boss monster that's not based on any monsters that have existed yet. Um, is like it can, if you have, um, oh, what was it? Um, oh, if you control no other monsters, it can attack everything. And then one of the other main deck ones is like, um, quick effect during your opponent's turn, take control, like Widow Anchor till the end of the turn. Yeah. So, like, nothing, like, coming straight out the gate is like, oh, my God, this is amazing. But it may be that they get the next card, and it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. Um, but currently it is looking like the Earthsarctic of the set. Well, the Earthsarctic... Nah. <laughs> nah. No defending Earthsarctic well, on not, this No, no, I'm just saying that... When Secret Slayers came out, it looked like there there were two really good decks in that, and then one deck that was kind of shit. And that one deck that was kind of shit has gone on to win a YCS. Like there was, you you had um, your Eldritch, your Emancipator, and then you had Reekers. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, Reekers got and a they were the only ridiculous other... field spell plus a whole other archetype that enabled their shenanigans. So, like, this is if, also true. if this gets that, then, yeah, I'm happy to concede that they're a fine deck. But as it's reading currently, they are a little bit shit. Mm. Poor Adam Peters. Also, just to go back real quickly to Kite Road, I looked it up. <laughs> this card was an anime card. Yes. That yes. then was in... Uh, at, 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 as it was, it was in GX Tag Force or whatever. Like the game in two thousand and eight, mm -hmm. then was in Duel Links. It is literally a video game only card. It has only ever been in video games card for no reason. In Master Duel, when? Where's my Kite Rod? I want to battle feed of my opponent. I want to activate Kite Rod IRL. <laughs> Um, so moving on to some more upcoming product news, uh, we have the first new cards announced for the uh, Onslaught of the Viking structure. This Xyz monster, very good. The Xyz is very good. Uh, yeah, so yeah, if it summon destroys all mo other so monsters on the field. Free rank 8. Yeah, uh, generic rank 8. Uh, yeah. 2 plus level 8s as well, so you can actually add a few more onto it if you're spamming level 8s on the board. It's relevant because it soul charges for the amount of material it had when it died. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, is this that Soul Charge card we were talking about in the chat a couple of days ago? Probably. Or maybe I was reading about it or something. Um, and then it detaches a material, targets a spell trap on the field, destroys it, and uh, gains some more attack. And yeah, uh, so Soul Charges fire king monsters from the graveyard up to the number of materials I had. So it's not completely yeah, I definitely generic in that regard. It's still archetype of Soul Charge. Uh, they get two new level eights as well. Um, and something that sets the field spell, right? Uh, yes, uh, so they get a continuous spell that uh, places Viking Island directly from the deck. Which means no under anti-spell. Oh wait, no, it's a spell. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you That's just right. pop the anti-spell with the monster. <laughs> no, 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 you pretend you're Josh and you just pretend anti-spell is non-existent. <laughs> you play as if it's not there. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then it uh, protects the field spell while it's on the board. You destroy a uh, fire monster in hand or face up field. Um, one of these as well destroys a fire monster in deck, which is a little bit bonkers. I just can't remember which one it is. Must be this one. That's a very exclusive. Uh, yeah, if it's cards, normal special summon, destroy, destroy a deck. fire beast, beast warrior, wing beast monster in hand, deck, or face up field. You have to specify the mm. typing so that you couldn't pop Cosmos from deck. Yeah. Well, imagine Cosmos support the pop Cosmos from deck. That's what I was always or... hoping for. Like a. Um... <laughs> Yeah, like, that would, that would like, be busted. Because we're still missing the Wizard of Oz, right? And yes. Darth Sidious or whatever. I wanted them to be like a thing? level one tuner that destroyed the material. Why do you want a tuner? I think it'd be cool. Wait, destroys as part of the synchro summon? Yeah. Like, I can get behind a fusion that does that because there's already a mechanic that does that. Um, but just the create oral... the mechanic. Who cares? People create mechanics. They, they create mechanics all the fucking time. Why would you want a synchro specifically though? I don't know. Like a fusion is so much more Because accessible. there's so many levels. If you have a level one, you can add that to anything and get to basically any syn any generic synchro. Just make it a level six that you pay 500, destroy one from deck. Anyway, that, we'll, that'll do. we'll get onto that in five billion years when we get Cosmo support. 
Um, we and also have uh, in the theme of fire support that seems to be just hammering out of the fucking. Um, it's the year of the fire. It is the year of the fire. Uh, so we get a rank four uh, infernal flame banshee. Uh, detach a material, take a pyre monster from deck, either add it to hand or send it to grave. So it's basically uh, gallant granite, but four fires. Do you reckon they just hold up? Do you reckon they just because like remember a while ago worms with the thing that had the least amount of like cards, mm -hmm. and then they did a bunch of worm support and pyros became the thing that had the least amount of... Do you reckon they just looked at that and mean like, we need to create more pyros because they're the ones with the least? I mean, following yes. that logic, then you're moving on to like sea serpents? Yes. Which means okay. Atlantean Mermau will get support? Yeah, I reckon they'll probably just create a new thing. I mean, they did a retrain of the structure deck for Vikings and there was mm, a... That's fair. I think there was a field... Uh, they skipped the pyro one. They skipped the, oh, pyro the generic and, fire one. Yeah, they skipped the pyro on the sea serpent one. <laughs> I mean, the sea serpent and the pyro one, to an extent, was just like... I fucking love those structure decks. They just, don't, don't talk shit about those structure decks. They were just bits thrown together, though. There was no coherent strategy to any of it. Me and one of my friends growing up each bought one of them, and we just fucking duel with each other constantly. Oh, fire versus water! <laughs> Pretty much. That and they both came out at the same time, so they were just like there on the shelves. Um, and yeah, if this one becomes banished uh, while you control a pyro monster, the special summons itself back and gains attack uh, for each of your monsters currently banished. Uh, don't know what deck that's going to apply to. What level is it? Uh, it's a rank four. It was rank three. It could be like Grandmaju support. Go Grandmaju and Grandmaju overlay into this. If you have two Grandmajus on the board, why are you overlaying them? Why not? Probably look at it like it's... Reptile or Thunder for the next wave. Incident. Reptile's already got a fuckload. Uh, they got a lot, but like not. They're also getting more. It's fair. Ah, fair. We're new Thunder Dragon cards. Um, we also get. Uh, I think this was announced at. Um, I can't remember what the thing was called. I think it was like called uh, the Konami Open Letter or something like that. I don't know some sure. like whatever it's called. I can't remember. Number one um, thinking card game. <laughs> no, not that. Um, so there's some more of the armored uh, Xe archetype coming out. I don't really understand what they do, nor do I want to. Was this like Zeus? No, no, no. Like the water armored monsters. Oh yeah, sure. But they do some things. I I shan't be reading them. Um, but they're there. I agree with this. <laughs> I approve this message. Uh, we do get some <laughs> uh, TG support that's coming out soon, though. Uh, there's one that gives a uh, extra normal summon from memory. Uh, another level two. Tuna, sort of like formula synchron. I think it does off turn. Yeah, it does off turn synchro as well. Uh, but it doesn't draw your card, so therefore bad. Uh, the big one, though, is their new level 12. Uh, needs a tuna synchro plus two non tuna synchros. Uh, target a monster, a special summon from the extra deck, banish it. Uh, you can use this up to a number of times for non tuna synchros used as this material. And then once per turn, if a monster becomes banished face up, target one of them, special summon it to your field, ignoring its summoning conditions. So you banish Ooh. your opponent's mirror jade, summon it back to your board. Send one have from nothing your to banish shakes. because you didn't plan for a ah, fusion to be there. Always plan to take the mirror jade. <laughs> <laughs> always plan. Uh, and they get a couple other spells and things to support them, so that, that's fine. Yeah. TG's never been super yeah. amazing as far as I can recall, so yeah. give them what you like. Good. <laughs> uh, know the type of... I'm not saying that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on to some more recent news for uh, the TCG. Uh, we have the full set spoilers for uh, Duelist Nexus. Uh, so a little while back we were speculating as to what cards would be quarter century rare. We now know that it will be the secrets and ultras from the set uh, plus one uh, exclusively quarter century rare card. I should have learned how to play the violin. I was thinking the saxophone the other day. I love the He's not bringing that up as a random point. He's bitching about his fucking fireman again. Oh, I'm... Yeah, you um, were bringing it up as a genuine point of like, I'd like to learn the saxophone. <laughs> He's like, I want to win you about finally. <laughs> uh, so I'll just go through the secrets and ultras and you can pretty much work out the rest from there. Uh, so Revolution Synchron, Nightmare Magician, uh, Sleep Near the Runic Main, the new level 9 runic that supposedly helps you get to generate a shit that no one cares about. Uh, Crimson Dragon, Visist, Visas, Amarita. Didn't you uh, Crimson Dragon today? You summoned Crimson. It's not out yet, didn't you? I what you summon? Crimson Blader. Yeah, Crimson Blader. <laughs> oh, did you, did you try to? Who did you try to floodgate? 
uh, the Cyber Dragon and the Dark Lord player. And but we, we literally oh, yeah, we, had, won that we had game on board anyway. <laughs> ah, okay. I just needed a level eight synchro to go into. Am I in the frame? Yeah. Okay. Uh, where was I up to? Uh, Evolzar Lars, the new rank six. <laughs> Lars. I saw that name and I was like, stupid. <laughs> Lars. <laughs> <laughs> so Evolzar's got a rank six that's not in the gate. Dinosaur's got a rank six that's not in the gate. Uh, the uh, it's Snake actually Light. generic. So any everything got a rank six as an Omni Negate. Uh, um, but yeah, if it has dinos, it can, can be used more than once per turn. <laughs> uh, the new Snake Eyes spell that puts stuff into the spell and trap. So I saw this up as a collector's rare for like seventy dollars US. That seems really cheap. Yeah, like I'd, would I would you pay three hundred for a playset of that. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Where was up to? Uh, Tokusano. I don't know what that is. Uh, and Crystal God Tistina uh, as okay. secrets. Disabled brother. <laughs> okay. That's a dollar. <laughs> yeah. Um, the new E Pearly Noir is an ultra. Uh, Alter Geist Link is an ultra. Uh, Unchained Soul Lord of Yama, which is the new Link 2, that's an ultra. Um, you've got three of the Infernoble cards as ultras, which means they'll all be coming in collector's rares. Uh, quarter of a century rare, actually. Quartzy Razies, actually. Yes, it is actually Quartzy Razies. Quartzy Razies. <laughs> that is exclusively. Oh, I say exclusively. I keep forgetting. Uh, that is what we <laughs> refer to them as. Um, exclusively, except sometimes. Sixty <laughs> <laughs> percent of the time, all the time. <laughs> um, so, I did mention Tistina in uh, that list of cards. Uh, so this was the TCG exclusive archetype that was uh, hinted at a little while ago in the Konami. Uh, videos. It sucks. Uh, everyone got very excited though because it looked like it was going to be Adamantipater support. Uh, Adamantipater. It's very much not. Uh, they are all aquas. They have no uh, rock tie-ins whatsoever. And they're I, bad. I, I, Sorry, yeah, Paul. they're really not good. Um, you know they're Mr. really Paul not Pelican. good. <laughs> you know they're really not good if I say they're bad, and Jake doesn't immediately try to go. Oh well, actually. <laughs> Um, well, actually, <laughs> yeah, they really don't have enough going for them at the moment. It depends way too much on your opponent having stuff on the board to actually get to the boss monster, and everything revolves around having the boss monster. Like it's Eldritch, but so much worse. Yes. So eventually, if they ever get a way to cheat out the level ten, that maybe, actually maybe next gets set. the deck going. Yeah, exactly. Look, it's again. Look out again. for the buyouts in three months. <laughs> Legitimately, if you do have like a specky bet and they're probably be- going to be cheap, you might as you well pick them up. Buy the dip. Buy and the dip. Then buy the you dip. wait for the OCG to give it good support that makes the deck work. Yeah, that too. Wait for uh, Crystal God Tistina. Double Helix. Double, uh, helix. double Helix, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Link 2 that summons the boss monster from deck. Yeah. Look, yeah. It could be good, but right now it's not. Um. And then, oh, we also got a new Link monster announced. Uh, and apparently it's meant to be related to IP Masquerina. Uh, that by her, by its name. By uh, SP Little Knight. The loser's going off about this. Knight with an N. Uh, if it's Link summoned using uh, any other type of extract monster as material, target a card in the field or in the graveyard, banish it. Uh, also, monsters you, uh, monsters you control cannot attack this turn directly. Um, and then when your opponent activates a card or effect, target two face-up monsters on the field, including the least one monster you control, banish both until the end phase. Sure. It's fine. It's generic, which is more important. Where's the point, even though it doesn't really matter anymore? Is it point down? Uh, no, it points there. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 um, also talked about a little while back here, we uh, mentioned the two-player starter sets that were coming out. We sort of yeah. uh, theorised that they were just going to be we didn't theorise, we talked mad shit. Yeah, we did <laughs> put them down quite badly, saying they'd just be repackaged like uh, like the starters Those from like 15 decks, years ago. The free decks uh, they were meant to give out. They're very much not that. Um, so they like they do have some garbage cards in them that, that kind of goes with it. But um, they do get the Manadeum Prime Heart, uh, Zeus Magical Cylinder... Uh, Cyber Dragon, Eldritch, Visa Star Frost, uh, Dark Magician Girl for some reason. What sure. Magic cylinder? Uh, Beast King, Barbaros, Galaxy Cyclone. It's going to talk through history of Yu Gi Oh or some shit. Yeah, it seems like they're just bringing oh. in random stuff from every era because, like, you've got Gaga Gar Magician Girl and Quibal Hedgehog and oh, stuff in I there. I got excited there for a second. 
The, ah, <laughs> the thing that confuses me is that it's only four card extra decks. Yeah. Like, Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, Link, but like, how are you making Zeus? No, well, the <laughs> way the way that they the way that they brought it out before is that one part will just be Synchros and one part will just be Xyz. Then where are my Fusion Monsters? Maybe next year? Also, why do you care about Fusion Monsters? I just want to be able to summon all four and then still miraculously get to Zeus. <laughs> I wanted to see them get boxed into hard summoning Zeus somehow. So what is it, two like, level 12s? Tennis. Uh Yeah, two level 12s. Oh, okay. I wanted to see them find a way to get you there. I mean, it can be done. I have seen it done. It's, it's scripted duels. It'd be pretty cool if like the end was like, and now I make them both level 12 with my Gaga Ga spell. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot uh, that they had a script Overlay in there. Dark Magician Girl and Gaga Ga Magician Girl for Zeus. I, I, I summoned one Gaga Ga that is, you know, a certain level. I summoned Gaga Ga Magician. The price goes through the roof of the <laughs> Altis. I'm very happy. And definitely not for any particular reason. 36 of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's an obscene number of fucking... The most basic. Easy to get. The price ulti. goes to $10. I'm crying with <laughs> happy Jesus tears. Johnny. I'm like, yes! <laughs> I think I bought him for a dollar a pop. Oh, God. Sure. I should have bought more stuff off that guy. It seemed like a decent deal at the time. <laughs> <laughs> Except now he's spent $36 <laughs> and is stuck with 36 ulti. If Gaga there Gaga ever comes a time where Gaga Ga Magician is good, Zero then. Zero ulti go. Uh, the bolt, whatever the giga go bolt. Giga or bolt. Yeah. Oh, we've got a few of those. We've got a lot of those. Thirty-six of them. <laughs> Not quite that Not many. That many. <laughs> <laughs> Hurt my hand earlier. Into it. Let me do it again. Uh, so moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from a new listener, LJ. Oh hell yeah! Hello, LJ. Can you uh, LJ Hooker? No. I'd... Sponsor the podcast if you do, LJ. <laughs> I think his name was Leslie. Okay. Sure. Anyway. Leslie Juker. <laughs> Wait, is that... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was just saying hooker with a J. <laughs> that was a slur. <laughs> was it? I mean, if it wasn't before, it probably oh, is now. Oh, no. No. Anyway, LJ asks, uh, do you think the two-player set they just announced will be a great yu gi -Oh product for getting new players to understand oh, the game? Side course. note, yep. I hope it's been... I hope it... Uh, I hope it is. Been waiting to get my wife into Yu-Gi-Oh for a, a while, but has no background in card games. Yeah, I think it'd be great. It, it seems that seemingly is intended to intro people to the game in a semi-complicated way. I think... Uh, I read a post recently about how they're gonna need to start doing like video courses for this game and yeah. i kind of agree yeah, i like, think they're gonna have to start doing like like things of just like hour-long videos that introduce people to things because i don't think the current way they introduce <laughs> is cutting it and i think this is an attempt to bridge that gap but i'm not sure it'll work when they bring back the instructional starter decks yeah. every year they just have to include a fucking floppy disk with the instructions <laughs> of you <-Gi> -Oh. <laughs> this game is like this game is so complicated. Like, they could it do a deployment. It is so that convoluted. Is that is the thing that makes me worry the most about this two-player product and it being introductory to new players is, like, yes, it's it's pre-scripted decks. If you shuffle that fucking deck... You're done. You ain't... Yeah, that's not... It's not going to be consistent. If you're playing Dark Magician Girl and all that other shit in your deck, it's not going to be consistent if you shuffle it. No, they're going to have to post the list online of how it is supposed to be. Yeah, 100%. Decided. There will be a list of, like, the order Surely it comes in into. the deck. Like, in the decks. Mm. I think... Put in this order. I think what they really need is, like, a series of these products. Like, a beginner, intermediate, and advanced level toodle things. Yeah. Like, start out with your basic, like, I don't know, put like, Cloudians in there. Or Pokemon something. structure decks right. do have, like, a difficulty rating on them. Mm. Granted, they all should say easy, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, mate, the main game itself, just easy. Draw seven cards, hope one of them does something. Like, it's... They didn't? Oh, uh, this card says draw seven more. Yeah, it's... Look, it swings and roundabouts in it. It's, you know... 
but yeah, they. I reckon they should look into if this doesn't work, doing a dip, like a, a difficulty system for four yeah. of them. Yeah, and then probably have one that's just like an unshuffled mess, like oh, uh, a shuffled like that you're able to shuffle and still yeah. play with it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, should be good for getting people started. But yeah, you it'll could even just do depend. Them in the way that they did the World Championship decks in Pokemon, where, like, they're not legal, but you can... Here's just literally a full meta deck. You can't play it anywhere. Like, it says specifically on it, it'll have, like, the speed duel thing, right? The filthy casuals. But, like, <laughs> here you go. Here is just a full meta deck. Uh, go wild. You cannot play this in official play. Give us 20 bucks. Print it, but the backs of the cards are, like, the Xs so that, like, meta players can buy them to use with their cash tier for block zones. <laughs> <laughs> Although I'll say that thing on the bottom, this cannot be used in a duel. But that giant XYZ the... dragon does not have. Yes. Where is it? No, it's not the XYZ dragon that doesn't have it, it's Deco Talker. No, no, no. No, it's, it's XYZ dragon. Uh, Cyber Dragon Nova. Nova doesn't say it either. I don't know. I'm sure it was only Deco. I swear Deco and thingy say it. Can't I mean... be used in a duel. No, no, sorry. Yeah, it it's, is decode. It's yeah, decode. Fetch decode. the decode, Toka. You should have summoned it today. Do you know? I was looking into <laughs> the whole. I was looking into the whole giant card thing, right? Mm -hmm. There was a giant card that this guy uh, won, and it was because there's this dude that collects them. I think he has like forty something of them. The last one, oh, okay. and he got one of them, and like this is the first one he won, and it was printed the right way and then the back was upside down and he gave it back and got a new one why would you not want a misprint, a misprint giant giant card, card? that's what? beyond me especially when you're gonna put it in a frame and you're not gonna see the back yeah no one's ever gonna see the back that's mental i would love a misprint giant card and it's been destroyed like they just got rid of it how unfortunate no, it's a or maybe they just it's cut at off Jerome's the, place. Maybe they just cut off the front and turned Pull, it around. It's at Jerome's place, poolside on the wall, next to the Dynamus Link it, one. When he brings the bitches around, he's like, like shirt completely unbuckled, just a tiny little bit of tuft of hair. And he's like, yeah, I was supposed to destroy that. <laughs> <laughs> that or it's at um, what's his house in France? No, it's at his house in Italy. Oh well, who really? knows? Just move it around. Marcello. Oh, Marce Pegasus. Marcello Baberi. I couldn't remember his... I couldn't remember his first name, but I had the last name. I was like, Baberi. <laughs> uh, next two questions comes to us from Jesse. Uh, so first question is, seeing as this December, it's likely the best product of the year will be the 25th collection. Uh, what are your thoughts Just on best be products nice, for nice. the other... Well, the rest of the year? What? Sorry, I was talking to Jesse. <laughs> With the... Uh, rarity collection coming out at the end of the year. Yes. Discounting that, what yes. would you feel is the best product for the year oh, so you're far? really aiming this question towards one side of the table here, Jake. Name three products. Uh, Legend of Blue Eyes. No. That came out this year. It did. It came just, out on Thursday. You literally just said name three products. I'm going to say the Shake Weight. Um, <laughs> and the conventional microwave oven. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so you passed easy mode. Three, yeah. Name three products that came out this year that don't include legacy products. Okay, I'm going to say uh, Lego Star Wars. Because <laughs> you've once again not referred it to Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> anyway, uh, moving right along. <laughs> legitimately, probably the Battles of Legend that's went by. If it Was it that good though? Uh, like, I think the issue is that the stuff they printed, like, royally fucked everyone. <laughs> I I said, can. <laughs> you said conventional <laughs> oven <laughs> instead of saying convection. convection. I said conventional yeah. microwave. Oven. It's just a instead normal oven, you know, guys. Convection. <laughs> also, are you saying it with an F or a V? Conventional. Yes. Are you saying convection or confection? It's How am I supposed to oven. say it with an F? It's a V. Oh, convection. I thought it was. You're an saying F. it as if it's a confection, I have a like okay, a lolly. I have a really bad. Uh, what was the word you used? Speaking soliloquy. Mm. <laughs> I have a really bad soliloquy. <laughs> She's going to bust a soliloquy. Uh, sorry, Doctor, I have a case of onomatopoeia. <laughs> uh, soliloquy. Um, yep. Yeah. No, is it Battles of Legend? I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't know if the product... In, like, there were it's... some really good cards in there, like Axel, Synchron, uh, the Duality and Shadows Light will probably have their time at some point. 
Um, but other yeah, where's than my, that, where's my Chaos Angel? I gave it to you. No, you didn't. You said... I literally gave it to you today. I handed you four cards. I can be your angel, or I can be you, your devil. I don't know where they are. I handed you four cards. I have witnesses. I thought you went to hand me the Chaos Angel and said, what was the other card? And I said, three of the random spell. And then I, I then remember I that being the last you. of that conversation. I handed them to you. You have them. Anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, what other good stuff did we have? Is this like a new jersey? Ben's going to look for his $85 cards. Um, mm-hmm. Is this a new jersey? It's or is Discord this... jersey. Have you met him at all? I don't know if you have. No, have you not met him? He doesn't do anything. So yeah, but he was good games twice. But he was in Queensland. And you're in Queensland. He yeah, and I went to as many tournaments down <laughs> up there as I went to down here. That's disappointing. Eh. Anyway, um, yeah, I honestly can't think about it at the moment. Like, I, I'm inclined to say probably um, the set that like the cash tier support came out. That that <sighs> wasn't even this year. Yeah, I fucking told you. Yeah, but I didn't remember this part of the day happening. I can be your chaos angle, or I wait. Can what be set did chaos your... angle came out? That was Cyberstorm? shadows light. Cyberstorm, free it. Yeah, I would say probably Cyberstorm because it had all the busted synchros. Yeah, but none of them were very expensive. God, this card is. Does ugly. expense automatically equal good? No, but at the same time, yes. You want to set to hold value. Why? Which is something that Battles of Legend isn't. Correct. Like, I would say a good set is a set that has, like, a couple of meta staples that are three orbs in your main deck. Well, until we get the set in, like, a week or two, we don't really have that yet. My yeah. and, and even then, I don't think there's a great deal of, like... <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it was like having you on the podcast. <laughs> You've given me things to interact with. It's even worse. You've had two people to interact with this entire time. I mean, you're talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just show up and I come first or second at tag tourneys. That's all I do. You know how I know this came from Jake? Mm-hmm. They have orange sleeves. Mm. Jake's life is orange sleeves. Do you think you've purchased like over 5,000 orange sleeves at this point? I mean, over time, Absolutely. What do you what do you reckon that number is? Do you reckon you're in like the, the five digits? Like I don't 10, know if it's thousands? that many. I don't know if it's that many. A hundred thousand? No, because Ben likes to point out the fact that I don't change my sleeves often enough. Yeah. Bill, you should have seen my sleeves today. You only changed my I God. did see your sleeves today. They were <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Bro, those were those were white at one point. <laughs> they were like you know the when we were watching the the PlayStation restoration and it was like yellowed? It was worse than that. <laughs> oh, God. And one of them just broke me, Tony. Yeah, he drew his opening hand in like the second round and one of them had just gone, that Opening hand. <laughs> Next question. Conventional oven and you want to give me shit for a testy pop. Go fuck yourself. Anyway, uh, next question from Jesse is, thoughts on the already expensive card, probably for legal reasons, getting an OTS ulti. Uh, definitely not talking about uh, thrust. Um, if Thrust were to get an ulti, I don't know if how I'd feel about it. Mm-hmm. We definitely don't know. There's been this happened before, right? Like, Nibiru. This sets out. Out where? Out now. At out. an OTS store near you. <laughs> not, not out. The, not if you're not near us. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're in Australia, uh, it's nowhere near you. Someone in fucking Melbourne was already selling a box online, weren't they? You know what? That was, that was, fi- no, I swear that was, it was in I swear it was for Sony. $500. Huh? To, I reckon that's a decent price. Yeah, but if you realistic, can get it for 500 realistically, AD. they're only getting one of each. So, like, the value is yeah. not super I thought there was two there. of each in a box. No, no, it's three, maybe four. Ooh. Like, totally. It used to be two of each, I swear. Ah. Because we used to pull what felt like a lot of ulties from the OTS packs. Um, but, yeah, the OTS isn't officially out. Um, so, yeah, if Thrust were in there, I would kind of like it. I like the idea of Thrust. I still think that <laughs> that anonymous leaker is a faking. Ain't no way Konami would reprint Morphtronic Remoten. <laughs> you just think it's fake because you don't like it. Because you don't think any of the reprints are good. No, I actually think the Morphtronic reprint's really, really Didn't good. Didn't you say it was only one it's like good reprint? It's a $15 reprint. card. Good. 15? If the Morphtronic players 
Yeah, no. Yeah, they only play FTKs now. You know Lachlan doesn't watch the podcast because he hasn't gone on the adventure of us for the past three months of us building the 5Ds decks in real life. <laughs> True. I mean, you say we. Jake said he was going to build uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. I, I know, but there's not a lot of stuff. point in putting it together now with a structure coming out at the end of the year. It's like, oh, can I play it at, like, 80% strength? Sure. Why would I, though? Is 5 is the fusion stuff? I put together the no. Yusei deck despite the fact it's that the he had support stuff. coming out in the next four sets. <laughs> yeah, have you added those yet? Uh, one card. So well, 5Ds and GX, I don't like either of those. No, I'll put places. that in there, I think. I mean, I didn't watch any of those. Like, the I've only... heard that the, the XYZ one is really good. Then you've heard it wrong. <laughs> I heard it was like a dark version of like everything. Wait, you say it's not the Xyz one? Yuma. Isn't that the Pendulum one? That's Yuya. What's the dark one? Yuma? What's you say? Synchro. Oh. Yeah, that's I 5Ds. Don't <laughs> I, don't, I, I just don't care. <laughs> Next question. Next question, uh, again from LJ. Uh... What's your favourite special summer mechanic? Ritual Fusion, Link, Synchro, Xyz, or Pendulum? And what is your favourite monster from the type? Do you want to start? I don't. Uh, I'll, I'll say <laughs> Fusion for you. And I'll be right. Maybe. Do you want to, do you want to say mine? Pendulum. That's say right. Pendulum. Dark Synchro. Yeah. I love Earth <laughs> That's a good point. They'd kind of do Dark Synchro. And that's what you wanted to do with your graveyard, Xyz. Nah, nah, nah. My thing's better. Your thing's non-existent. So I, I come up with an archetype that Xe summons with the grave. So you just put them on the board and summon Xe's monster. I already hate this. <laughs> I think it's a great idea. Great idea. I will put idea. it in the basketball game. <laughs> yes! <laughs> We're abandoning yu gi eventually. We're going to make our own basketball game. That's just NBA players as waifus. I definitely haven't been down this You've road before. You've said this so many times. No, I have never said this once. You have. No, this is instinctively not true. You literally only said on this podcast? the other day you were like, I'm in. Yeah. Like, is... I literally I only was here then when you said it. Because yeah. I Everyone feel like else was I... having the conversation about this and I was like, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, I'm not about it. And now yeah. we've spoiled it to the world. Ah, uh, no. If only someone was editing the podcast and could take it out. If only we said <laughs> anything other than the idea, which in and itself probably can't be copyrighted. We're like, copywriting it. <laughs> we're trademarking it. Both. Better. Both are. Um, okay, my favourite summoning mechanic, because we've kind of <laughs> wrecked this question. We is, have uh, very much fallen off pendulum. the Pendulum. I, I love Pendulum. Uh, and my favourite monster there. Ooh. Ooh, that's a hard one. No, it's not. If it's not, no, because it's not he's, easy. Because his favorite, easy. Because his favorite pendulum monster is not a pendulum monster. It's, it's Electromite. <laughs> it's a Link monster. Actually, yeah, my favorite summoning mechanic is Link. <laughs> no, um, I, it's Spirit, and so you send Jay comma three. <laughs> well, my uh, my favorite card is comma one. Oh, oh, it's Gaga Ga Cowboy actually. But my favorite pendulum monster is. Uh, Dynamis Plesios. Yeah, probably Plesios. Really? Plesios? Yeah, because it's like really it's bad. Not, not Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I feel like it's one of the worst. It's either that or Terran. It's, prob- it's actually, 100% it's probably Terran. Terran. Go. If only it- uh fusion. Um oh. surprise, surprise. And it is invoked Elysium. Oh uh, Shocker. <laughs> bro, I had this ready for Mechaba. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> It's X season, it's totally awesome. I mean, it took a while to get to his, but there's really no surprises here. No, not at all. Uh, and the last question comes to us again from Jesse. Uh, how does one best financially capitalise on the lack of competitive events for the next few months? Uh, sell everything to avoid ban lists, play cheap fun decks, keep being sweaty tryhards in order to get OTS packs, etc. If we told you, Imagine if we had option three. If yeah, we told nice. you, it would no longer be profitable. Yes. Because we've definitely figured it out. We've figured it out. But it only works if it's only a select group of people. Yes. But I'll tell you what. The answer is not... You, we've got a website. If you go to that website and you subscribe to Hustlers University, <laughs> <laughs> it's the best thing you can do with your money. Oh, well, well, what's like Duelists University or something? I don't know. 
some version of it. The best thing you can do is give us money, and then we'll coach you into making money. Yes. No. The well, answer is just never play meta. Yeah. And then you just keep playing. Just keep your. Yeah. It'd be much just, easier if you're in the OCG. You game. could predict the you could predict the ebbs and flows of uh, the meta and sell accordingly. But the TCG is like, we're not going to tell you when. Randomly, one day your deck will be dead. Mm. Will it mainly happen while I'm in your hand? What's It'd be funny if an OCG? Where was happen? the last one? Man. Have you got an OCG deck to play over there? No, I can't believe that. I'm gonna buy rescue aces in Japanese. Don't forget my Dana Mister. <laughs> that's how, that's how it's pronounced. Dana Mister. No. <laughs> um. Yeah. What was it? When did the ban list come out? Was it May or June? I think it was May. Well, yeah, it could potentially. I don't know what that hit at this point. Or was it June? I don't know. We'll figure it out later. I think White it howling. June. It's gonna be. <laughs> they're gonna be like, good thing we gave Pearly more cards. Hit it again. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to announce it on the podcast the other day, but I was reading through uh, one of the excerpts of Law, and uh, Pearly are not cats. Yeah. They're they beasts. are dogs. Oh. Nah, people like them to be cats. Yeah, but they're dogs. But cat people are really defensive, Jake. You're upsetting them right now. Please. Fuck them. Cat people be like, oh, I like cats. Dog people be like, I don't like cats. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess... Just, yeah. No one asked. <laughs> There's still another question, Jake. It is, because we're out of questions. There's another question. Nope. Oh, we're out of questions. We are. Oh. There's another question there. <laughs> nope. Uh, there's no, another what's question, the other question there. What's the other question? I don't care. Ask the Thank question, you Jake. Thank you very much for watching. I'm asking uh, the question. No, we're Thank asking the you, question. Uh, the like Jake doesn't want to answer the question. Uh, Discord, uh, feel free to we're asking the question. Uh, follow us along and ask us some questions. I'm finding the question. Uh, like and subscribe <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, favorite us on your favorite streaming um, services. So the question, yeah, actually, giving us the favorite and follow on Spotify really boosts us. Like it'll actually suggest us to people when they <laughs> so, see you. Yeah, so that's big. The last question comes from Naya. Uh, oh. If you would randomly appear in a sandcastle, what would you realize? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> if you randomly appear Jesus in a sandcastle, <laughs> what would you first realize? Is it a castle or is it sand? I think I'd. Oh, am you're, I am I inside the sandcastle? You're in the sandcastle. I think I realize, realize you're in a castle first. or you're in sand. I think well because it's not bricky, so I, I think that's the classical like the, those stone bricks. What if it's a really well made sandcastle? Wasn't part of the question. I think I'd realize it was sand. Tra- the the feeling is sand underneath your toes. And also, I hate sand, so I would immediately be angry. I think it'd depend, though. I hate sand, it's coarse. If my eyes (laughs) were drawn to look up at the castle, I might think it's a castle. But if I'm looking down when I open my eyes, I'm going to be like, oh, it's sand. Didn't say you appear in a castle, though? Yeah, you'd just be dark. You'd just feel the sand. Oh, yeah, you'd just feel the sand. Just also, feel it. Shit question, (laughs) Naya. That is your real name. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> also, sandcastles aren't built hollow, so if you appeared in a sandcastle, you'd you're literally suffocate. just entombed in sand. <laughs> All you would feel is sand. You'd have no chance to even know you were in a sandcastle. <laughs> Am I in a castle? You wouldn't even know you were shrunk. <laughs> you'd just be dead. You'd, just, you'd be like, oh, I'm suffocating. And then you would suffocate. <laughs> you'd be like, I'm in a lot of sand. <laughs> would you even wake up in the sandcastle? Oh, no. You'd die in your sleep. What a fun way to end the podcast uh, Thank you all very much for listening and watching As I said, feel free to favourite and follow us On your streaming services, like and subscribe if you're on YouTube Jump to your Discord, ask us some questions And we'll catch you all again next week Post us on your Facebooks Post us on Zodiac Post us on your Google Threads Or whatever it's called we can, but I don't like it. Anyway it like Anyway, peace